Hi, welcome to Eating Out, the homeless cooking show. I'm your host, Anita Place. Today we are making soup. Instead of buying those expensive ingredients that you find in places such as stores, we will be getting ingredients all over. So come and join me on our great adventure as we go eating out. A good thing you want to do is uh, wait by a busy intersection or trash can. Then sometimes you find some really special treats. Voila! I've just discovered what appears to be the remains of a hot dog. This will go perfect in the soup. Oh, it's got mustard on it. That's not going to be too much of a problem. I think it's all off of there. While finding an apartment in New York City can be very expensive, finding vegetables doesn't need to be. I've located a treasure trove of spices right behind me here. Nature's bounty is everywhere. Yeah, that's good. Good year. For texture, you might want to add wood chips. I don't know what it is, but it sure looks delicious and furry. If you're like me, you like your soup to have liquid in it. And what do you know, there's a lot of liquid right here. The world's best chefs like the water to drain in very slowly. This allows all the microbes in the water to preserve. And in the end, you'll have a healthier, and better tasting soup. So, we've gathered up all of our ingredients and now it's time to start cooking. Uh, what we're going to do is make sure we got our water set up on the grill nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. And that's got a great aroma to it already. The first of our crude grasses today is the hot, the partially consumed bit of hot dog that we found from our special European source. Uh, we're going to add this into the soup. This is a crucial time for the soup right now. And I'm just going to slam it in. Slam. The second of our coup de gras or coup d'etat of today, the coup de tay that we're going to crew into the croup that we're making, uh, something I found outside of Zabar's. This is what I like to call my own quintessence. You just want to add some of that in there. And you want to put in your last few special ingredients. I like to just wipe my hands off a little bit. This way they're nice, they're clean. You know, I feel good about just serving people. With our highfalutin show and big budget, we have a nice grill here. For those of you at home or in your own individual state of homelessness don't have the funds to have a grill, using an oil drum will work just as well. You want to make sure you have plenty of fuel. And let her rip. Looks like our soup's about done. It's about time to head out on the streets and see what the people think. Thanks, Anita. We're gonna have people try your soup today on Venice Beach. Wanna try soup? This is fucking Anita soup! Come on, little baby, try the soup! That's it, try the soup, man. Oh, come on, that was that. Anybody got a dollar? Try the soup. Ooh, sexy. Sexy, sexy, ladies. Try the soup. <laughs> no? Okay. What kind of soup is it? It's 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 Anita soup from New York. Oh yeah? What flavor? It's Anita soup from New York. <laughs> it's Anita soup. It's Anita soup. That's it, Anita. We have no more time. I I gotta sell these bottles. The key to a very extra special dish is presentation. I put a little garnish on the side. Remember, if you have a lot of leftovers, feel free to bottle them. They'll keep for up to 10 years buried deep in a backyard or any sort of ground anywhere. I'm Anita Place. Good night.